This month in Outer Banks history, local activist Carolus de Balm prevented bulldozers from destroying the sand dunes at Jockey's Ridge. At more than 7,000 years old, Jockey's Ridge is the tallest existing natural sand dune system in the eastern United States. It has served as a point of interest for vacationers and locals alike for centuries. But in February 1972, amidst a booming real estate and tourism market in Nags Head, construction crews threatened to demolish the dune in order to construct a sound front condominium complex. Local activists quickly mobilized to prevent the project, taking out ads in the Coastland Times calling for an end to the construction. Working under the name Friends of Jockey's Ridge, activists also sent telegrams to 25 politicians, prominent citizens, and other important figures urging action to protect the dunes. There had been interest at both the state and local level in establishing a state park at Jockey's Ridge, but the project fizzled due to lack of funding to purchase the land, which was privately held. By the summer of 1973, no substantial work had been done towards protecting Jockey's Ridge. According to local legend, on the morning of August 15, 1973, Nags Head resident Carolista Fletcher Baum and her husband Walter heard construction equipment mobilizing on the edge of the ridge. Tired of inaction and eager to effect change, Carolista placed herself in the path of the bulldozers and announced that she would not move until the machines were turned off. Soon after, the bombs launched a campaign to secure 30,000 signatures on a petition to establish a state park at Jockey's Ridge. The North Carolina State Parks and Recreation Committee responded favorably to the petition, but still had no funds available to purchase the land. Spearheaded by Carolista, a nonprofit organization, the People to Preserve Jockey's Ridge, was established to raise funds to purchase the property. The group began in earnest, launching a massive campaign under the slogan, Save Our Sand Dunes, distributing over 30,000 brochures, selling bumper stickers and t-shirts, holding raffles, and seeking grants and private donations. One particularly successful fundraising method was selling symbolic square foot parcels on the main dune for $5 each. A documentary on Jockey's Ridge called Of Time and Eternity was produced and screened throughout the state. A protest song entitled A Natural High, The Ballad of Jockey's Ridge, was even written by local songwriter Russ Cottingham. Thanks to the people to preserve Jockey's Ridge's efforts, the state of North Carolina appropriated funding to purchase a portion of the land containing the two largest dunes in April 1975, and Jockey's Ridge State Park officially opened on June 7th of that year. The occasion was marked by a three-day celebratory event, the Jockey's Ridge Jamboree. Today, the park encompasses 426 acres and sees thousands of visitors from across the globe each year, thanks in large part to Carolista's efforts to block the first bulldozers in August of 1973. For more information on Jockey's Ridge State Park or any other topic in Eastern North Carolina history, come visit us at the Outer Banks History Center. We're located at Roanoke Island Festival Park across from the downtown Manio waterfront.